Hello students, uh, welcome to LFI Educates. So this is your fourth video for the chapter determinants. And here we shall learn about adjoint of a matrix. So basically how to find the adjoint of a matrix, we shall uh, see that. And then we shall see how to find inverse of a matrix. Okay, so how, what is adjoint of a matrix? So in the previous video, we have uh, come across minors and cofactors. So what was our cofactors? If I have an element a i j say, then its cofactor is given by capital A i j. Fine. Now, if the matrix is a i j, suppose it is a m cross n matrix or m by n matrix, then the matrix formed by the cofactors is another matrix. And if I take the transpose of this matrix, then I shall get the adjoint of the matrix A. An adjoint of a matrix A is, is uh, denoted by ADJ into A or adjoint of A. We write it like this. Okay. So that is all about adjoint of A. Now we have a theorem that if A be any given square matrix of order N, then A into adjoint of A is equal to adjoint of A and that is equal to determinant into the identity matrix. Determinant of A into the identity matrix. So you can uh, try it yourself. It's a very important result and we shall be using this. I have skipped the proof here. So if I have a matrix say of order 2 by 2 and if I find the adjoint of A, that means if I have a matrix of order 2 by 2, so here I have A11, A12, A21, A22. Now I have what I have to find? I have to find the cofactors of each of the elements and they will be a11, a12, a21, a22, isn't it? So this will be yeah a and after finding the cofactors we need to take the transpose of this matrix. So what will be that? That will be a11, a22 and here it will be a12, a21. So this will be our new matrix. Now, if I multiply the A here, so after multi matrix multiplication, we shall have here determinant of A, 0, 0, and determinant of A. Okay? And from there, I can take the determinant of A common, and I shall be remaining with I only. So, this is how you can prove this result. And uh, one more thing is that if I have uh, skipped it in the previous video like while multiplying these two matrix the the one that we have shown you so if a11 a12 a21 a22 if these are the cofactors of the elements a11 a12 a21 a22 then if I multiply these matrix with the corresponding elements of the with the corresponding matrix of the second row or of, of any of the corresponding rows then the result will be a zero suppose if i multiply a11 with a21 a12 with a22 so the result will be zero similarly if i multiply a21 and a22 with this row so result will be a zero similarly it is uh, true for the case of column also okay and you just try this proof so next we shall discuss about singular and non-singular matrix. Let us take A is a matrix. Now if the determinant of A is 0 then it will be said to be a singular matrix and if I have a matrix A and if the determinant of A is not equal to 0 then that will be non-singular matrix. For example let me take A is equal to uh, 2, 4, 8, 1. So if I find the determinant of A, what will be the result? The determinant of A will be 2, 1, 8, 4 and that will be equal to 4 into 8, 8 minus 8 into 1, 8 it will be 0. So in this case such a matrix is a singular matrix. And if it is non-singular, so and sorry, and if the determinant is not equal to 0, then we shall call it a non-singular matrix. Fine? Okay. Now, this is in the second theorem, we shall be using the concept of non-singular matrix. Like the theorem says that a square matrix is said to be invertible if and only if A is a 
non singular matrix fine now what is invertible matrix you have we have discussed this in our third chapter there was matrix so if i have a matrix a and if i am able to write a matrix b suppose their dot product or their product is i then b will be called the inverse of a and a will be called the inverse of b now when i can say that a matrix is invertible like in case of functions we have got if a function is 1 or 1 2 then it is invertible so in such a case our condition is that in case of matrix if the matrix is non singular that means if the determinant of the matrix is uh, not equal to 0 then we can say that the matrix is invertible and if a matrix is invertible then i can write or if a square matrix is invertible then i can write a inverse is equal to adjoint of a by determinant of a and this is how we find an inverse provided the matrix is non singular okay so we shall uh, solve a few problems from this uh, topics so let us see exercise 4.5 So uh, we have exercise 4.5 here and uh, this exercise will be one of the most important exercise in your uh, chapter and please go through the problems uh, specially to find the adjoint and to find the inverse. So here we have the a first question let us take a first question that is find the adjoint of the matrix 1 2 3 4 okay so here the matrix is given this now how to find the inverse of this at first. Uh, find the cofactors of the first element that is a11 so what would it be minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 into the minor what will be the minor here it is 4 and that will be equal to minus 1 square so it will be 4 then we have a12 or in the beginning you can write cofactor of a11 then a1 same thing and a12 so this will be minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 into the minor so what is our, uh, the cofactor of so the minor of the element 2 it is 3 here excluding this row and the column so that will give us minus 3 and then a21 will be minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1 along with the minor so uh, minor of this element will be excluding this row and this column will be 2 and this will give us minus 1 cube or simply minus 2 and for a22 we shall have minus 1 2 plus 2 into the minor for this element the minor will be 1 so the determinant of the minor determinant of the element and this will be 1 only thus we have got the cofactors of each of the element now Using these cofactors, the new matrix will be what? It will be 4 minus 3 minus 2 1. So this is our new matrix formed or the cofactor matrix you can say. Now adjoint of A will be the transpose of 4 3 minus 2 1 and that will be equal to 4 1 minus 2 minus the interchanging the rows and columns okay so this is how we find the android of a matrix now let us see question number three so before going to this question let us see a trick to find the adjoint of a matrix of order 2 by 2 here if we have elements a11 a12 a21 a22 so we have studied or we have discussed about how to find the adjoint of a matrix of any order like if it is 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 then we can find it in our traditional way but if it's a matrix of order 2 by 2 then there is a trick like I can find the adjoint of A by simply interchanging the A11 and A22 bring the A22 up here and write the A11 here interchange it and keep the A21 and A12 in its place by changing their signs so if it is positive here right here negative if it is negative here right here positive thus we have got the adjoint of a fine so we shall be using this trick here in this question so verify that at a into adjoint of a is equal to adjoint of a into a 
in equal to determinant of a into y where a is this matrix and this will be the variation of the theorem that we have discussed earlier so here a is equal to 2 3 minus 4 minus 6 so therefore determinant of a will be what 2 3 minus 4 minus 6 and that will be equal to 6 uh, into 2 that will be minus 12 minus 4 3 minus 12 so this will be equal to 0 now we need to find the adjoint of a what is adjoint of a since our a is a 2 by 2 matrix so adjoint of a will be interchange 2 and minus 6 so we shall have minus 6 here and 2 here and replace the signs or exchange the signs of the other remaining elements so it will be minus 3 here and it will be 4 here so that's we have got the adjoint of a now let us multiply them a into adjoint of a so this will give us what is our a 2 3 minus 4 minus 6 and adjoint of a is minus 6 minus 3 4 and 2 so this is all about matrix multiplication so the first element that we are going to have here is a 1 1 that is first row first column so 2 into minus 6 minus 12 plus 3 into 4 that is 12 then first row second column here a 1 2 first row second column that will be 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 and 3 into 2 is 6 along with the addition okay then second row first column so what will be that minus 6 uh, minus 4 will be plus 24 and minus 6 plus 4 will be min plus minus 24 and second row second column so this will be minus 4 into minus 3 will be 12 plus minus 6 into 2 will be 12 so it will be in minus 12 so we can see that all the elements are 0 0 0 0 and that will be equal to that will be 0 matrix fine now okay just let us write it here that it is a 0 matrix then find adjoint of a into a so what is that is equal to adjoint of a is minus 6 minus 3 4 2 and our a is 2 3 minus 4 minus 6 so if i multiply them a 1 1 that is first row first column so minus 12 and plus 12 then first row second column that is minus 18 plus 18 first uh, second row first column that is 4 to 8 and to 4 minus 8 second row second column that will be 4 3 12 and 6 2 minus 12 so again we are getting a zero matrix that will be equal to zero thus we see that our a into adjoint of a is equal to adjoint of a into a both are zero zero okay and what about the third one that is determinant of a into i into i that is equal to what is our determinant of a we have got it a zero here so zero into i will be zero so therefore our this condition is proved and hence we can write verified fine a easy one yet an important one so next we have question number nine here we need to find the inverse of this matrix the given matrix is here and uh, how to find the matrix the first thing we need to check is that whether this matrix is non-singular or not if the if the square matrix is non-singular only then we can find the inverse of this matrix okay so for to find uh, to check it is non-singular we need to show that it, the determinant of a is not equal to zero and if it is non-singular then our a inverse that is uh, will be equal to adjoint of a divided by determinant of a fine okay now let us see we have the matrix here that is 2 1 3 4 minus 1 0 minus 7 2 1 so if I want to find the determinant of a so therefore determinant of a will be equal to what that will be 2 1 3 
फोर माइनस वन जीरो माइनस सेवन टू वन नाउ एक्सपैंड इट इन एनी ऑफ द वेज आइदर टेकिंग इन रो और कोलम सो आई शेल टेक द थर्ड कोलम हियर बिकॉज आई हैव ए जीरो हियर सो इट इज वन 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 टू वन थ्री सो इट विल बी पॉजिटिव थ्री इन टू द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग माइनर दैट विल बी फोर माइनस वन माइनस सेवन टू माइनस हियर इट विल बी जीरो इन टू टू वन माइनस सेवन टू रिड्यूसिंग द रो एंड द कोलम कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू जीरो प्लस वन इन टू द माइनर दैट इज रिमूव दिस पार्ट इन दिस दिस रो एंड दिस कोलम सो वी शेल बी रिमेनिंग विथ टू वन फोर माइनस वन नाउ फाइंड द डिटर्मिनेंट फोर इन टू एट एंड माइनस सेवन इन टू वन दिस विल बी प्लस सेवन सो आई शेल हैव ए माइनस सेवन हेयर एंड दिस पार्ट विल बी जीरो सो आई शेल हेट द वन हेयर टू इन टू माइनस वन विल बी माइनस टू एंड फोर इन टू वन माइनस फोर ओके सो दिस गिव्स अस एट माइनस वन एट माइनस सेवन विल वन थ्री एंड हेयर वी शेल हैव माइनस सिक्स सो दिस विल गिव अस माइनस थ्री and which is not equal to 0 so since our determinant is not equal to 0 thus we can find the inverse of this determinant of this matrix so let us write here determinant of a is equal to minus 3 and which is not equal to 0 so we shall be using this result now what is our task if we have found this we need to find adjoint of a okay so before finding the adjoint of a we need to find the cofactors of each of the elements so just write a cofactor of 2 that is a11 this will be minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 into the corresponding minor that is minus 1 0 2 1 so that will be equal to minus 1 square will be 1 and minus 1 into and so this will be minus 1 itself okay so i have listed down all the cofactors you can write it from here a 1 2 will be minus 4 a 1 3 will be 1 a 1 4 sorry a 2 1 is 5 a 2 2 is uh, 23 a 2 3 is minus 11 a 2 Three one is three, a three two is twelve, and a three three is minus six. So these are the cofactors, and how to find it? I have shown you here. So you can check it from there. So thus we have got the cofactors, and hence our cofactor matrix will be what? Therefore, cofactor matrix will be equal to. A one one, write it here minus one. A one two, minus four. A one three one. A two one five. A two two twenty three. A two three minus eleven. A three one is three. A three two is twelve. A two three. A three three is minus six. So this is our cofactor matrix. Let me remove this part. So. Yeah, it's fine. Minus one four. Okay. So now we need to find the adjoint of this. So what is adjoint of the matrix? It will be the transpose, or you can write transpose of minus one, minus four, one, five, twenty three, minus eleven, three, twelve, minus six, and that will be equal to. Keep the diagonal element same, twenty three minus six, and interchange the row and column. So here I shall write five three, and here I shall write minus four one, and here I shall write twelve, and here minus eleven. So this is the adjoint of it. Therefore, our inverse will be adjoint of a minus one five three minus four twenty three. Two and one minus one minus six divided by, or I can simply write here one by minus three. You can divide the, all the elements, or you can keep the matrix in a 
uh, fractional form it's fine so this is how we find the uh, inverse of a matrix and this is very important in the from your exam point of view also and that will be the end of this exercise that is 4.5 and in the next video we shall come up with a system of linear equations set how to solve them so till then stay home and stay safe thank you